Alright, so let's get started. Uh, welcome to the Thursday standard in stage four of the two of the SGS phase. And we're going to be having um you know normal standard conversation on how is this the day. And especially we want to hear uh, your feedback with working with a loop system and uh, and also everything about the company study. The previous one of Tuesday has been shifted to yesterday, Wednesday. So did you manage to submit the Tuesday and Wednesday one? And also did you start the job application using Creek? We would like to hear from you everything about that. Who wants to go first? Absolutely. And there's also one thing uh, to not forget is to those who are still in different interview processes, please let us know how it's going. If you submitted your assignment, did you hear from them back? Just any update you may have, please let us know. Okay, let's get started. Ahmed. Hello, good morning, everyone. I hope you can hear me clearly. Yeah, we can. Good morning. Okay, cool. Uh, yesterday, I uh, okay. I submitted uh, to company study. Uh, I'm interested in working on Saudi Arabia. So, one of the companies was uh, Riwa. It's uh, IT services. Uh, it's a company provide IT services. Uh, so. This is one of my uh, one of the things I I interested in. So I also applied for a job as a research and develop uh, research and development manager at the same company. Uh, okay, I have also nine engagement in the lead platforms, but most of the jobs uh, are no longer available or the uh, application date was passed, so I couldn't uh, apply for most of them. So I have just uh, applied for this role. Uh, I think uh, that's all. Also, I, I noticed that uh, I have, uh, I super liked four jobs, but uh, I get uh, a CV and cover letter for just one of them. I think, uh, uh, this is a problem in the platform, so that's it. Okay, before I go to the problems, uh, one thing I had about the reception development manager, what was the job description in the position specifically? And also, did you find it manually or did you find it only? Uh, I didn't hear the second question, but for the let me say uh, it's about more uh, developing and uh, contribute to his other team, uh, making uh, what call uh, making prototypes for for projects to be implemented in the future. Uh, that's all I remember from the role now. Mm. I'm not sure if I heard you well. So with the reception development manager, is it a tech position or is it casual non-tech position? Sorry, your voice is so far. It's so far. How about now? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Okay, so I'm saying um, with the reception development manager, is it a role you found on Leap and is it tech role or is it non-tech? Uh, yeah, it's a tech role. Uh, it, it's uh, research and development manager uh 
I found this in uh, Riwa company. Uh, it's more about uh, making a uh, software. So you make uh, a prototype that the company can implement in the future and contribute with another teams for making this possible. Uh, that's all I remember for now because I went through a lot of jobs, so. Okay, and what is the other company you submitted the company study for, aside from that? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understand you. Can you rephrase it? I'm saying, so with the company study we have, we had to submit the company study for Tuesday and Wednesday. So for the yeah. first one, you said you submitted your study on a company from Saudi Arabia. What is the second one? Yeah, it's the, the second one is uh, a global company is uh, IT services provider. Also, it uh, provides services in many fields. Uh, one of them is AI, and uh, there is a lot of fields. I don't remember them. All. I don't remember all of them, but uh, AI and machine learning are exist there. Okay, thanks for sharing. Um, before we proceed to Enoch, Abdullah Mid. Uh, are, are those issues that Ahmed mentioned, are, are you aware of them? Or do you need to clarify something? Abdullah Mit, you will be writing, okay. So yeah, uh, Ahmed asked about the application period, sorry, the, the, the jobs that are popping up, but their application deadline has already passed. And also with the CVs and Cavaletas not generating on all roles that is super liked. So yeah, what of the questions? Um, as Abdullah Ahmed is typing, we can go ahead to Enoch. Okay, good morning. Okay, good morning. Uh, so I did the company studies for two companies. Uh, I chose uh, two companies. One is called Hugging Face and the other one is Lamp Chain. Uh, I chose them because we used uh, some of their technologies uh, in our past projects. Uh, but I, I couldn't submit yesterday because the Tenix platform was down. I don't know if it was just me. I don't think it was just me uh, experiencing this. I saw Sheila posting uh, an error on uh, on Slack, so I, I couldn't access it uh, yesterday, and so uh, I couldn't uh, I couldn't submit anything. Uh, I, I was also not able to explore Leap, and that was because of uh, power cuts. As I was just trying to explore Leap, uh, we had a power cut, and actually, like electricity has still not come back until now, so I was not able to explore Leap or. Uh, uh, or uh, like can I apply to any jobs? Hopefully I can do that today. And uh, my question is, is anybody else uh, experiencing 10x like not working yesterday? Yeah, yes. Yesterday we had uh, some, oh, okay, yeah. It was done for some minutes, but also it was out after that. And they announced it in all SGS Mark 1. Let's keep our eyes there because all updates about tanks being down or tanks being up again, there have been shares there. So, yeah. And then in the company study, please, uh, what's your plan when you're submitting the three of them? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? With the company study, you said you haven't submitted any? Yeah. Like, I, I was supposed to yeah. submit them, but I, I did the work. Like uh, I did the research and everything, but when I went to submit, 10x was working, and shortly after that, we had power cuts. So I couldn't. Uh... Okay, so 10x will be up again after the standard. Can you check and submit quickly? Okay. okay. And I'm sure Abdul Rahman is suggesting that you can try it now uh, from the incognito mode. 
it's working for switching the browsers. Can you also explore that? Okay, uh, I currently don't have power. I'm uh, on my phone. I don't know if it works on the phone, but I'll try it. Okay, please let us know how it goes. And uh, if you can hear your experience with the company study, what companies did you go for and how long is it taking you now? Uh, I, I explored two companies. One of them is uh, Hugging Face, which uh, provides like uh, pre-trained uh, LLA models. Uh, we, we used it in uh, one of our projects. Uh, the other one is also uh, an LLM. Uh, it's used it to, uh, it's called Bank Chain, and it's used to uh, to train, uh, the, it's for RAG, like when you work with RAG. Uh, it gives you a lot of components for that, and we also use that uh, in uh, some of our projects. Okay, got it. Why, why did you go for the book? Uh, I went for them because I was uh, interested in the companies. I, I don't think I'll have an opportunity to work there, but I just wanted to know more about those companies because they're very important, uh, especially in the JNAI field. Okay, really good to know. All right, then. Thanks for sharing. Uh, who wants to go next? Yes, Sheila. Hi, good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Okay, so um, according to my experience, I'll start with the company study. So I did the company study for two companies. So the first, for both companies, and I submitted them. Um, the first company was, uh, one of the companies I did was Turing Company, and I found it because um, it was one of the companies that Ten Academy had recommended that they have they have placements there and I found that there was there's a there's an alumni alumni who is there. So that's what I I looked into it and yeah. Then the other one was Net Guardians, which I had mentioned I had applied. Yeah uh, I think I applied like sometime this week, I think on Monday. Monday evening, yeah, so I applied for that. So I did their company study as well. So those are the two companies I worked on. Then the Tenex platform had issues yesterday and uh, um, the only way I was able to, like I was able to submit my assignment was by using Microsoft Edge. And um, yeah, and I kept asking that I get for assistance and he helped me. I don't know whether I said, I said his name well, but yeah, he helped me with that. Then um, um, when it comes to Leap, I tried, I, I used Leap yesterday and today early hours as well. And I kept skipping a couple of jobs. And I think I only, I only super liked three and I liked two. Yeah, cause like most of the jobs I was getting were data analyst jobs and I didn't want to do that. So yeah. But then I figured out like most of the jobs are not I'm not getting like the highest percentage I got for compatibility was a 66%, which means I need to find a way to add evidence to my lead platform. And that's what I'm working on because I had already started working on one of the projects, um, which was the reader chat chatbot add-on. So immediately I'm done, I'm going to see the way I'm going to, I can use, I can add it as an evidence so that I can improve on my skills. So yeah, that's it. Okay, great to know, few questions. Um, well, on the jobs that you super liked, they were on which positions? Dela, you're unmuted. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, the jobs I super liked. Mm -hmm. By position, you mean the level or the... No, just the name uh, of the position. Just the name of the position, like junior or mid. 
No, like you said, you were skipping data analyst and, you know, those kind of roles. So for the ones you select, are they AI role, AI engineer roles, are they DE, what are they? The AI, most of them are AI engineer, because one was prompt engineer. Um, the other one was machine learning engineer, but then in the description, it had a little, it had more of AI. Okay, I super liked it because like the match score was a bit high and I liked the role. So there's prompt engineer, then Python developer and machine learning engineer. So, yeah. Okay. And uh, by the way, when you were still, you know, playing around with it and finding the roles that you would super like, uh, how long did it take, would it take you to keep skipping different roles until you find the one that is right for you? How long were it, what difference in timing is it, was it in between those two? Um, okay, I'm looking at my engagements right now and I, I was skipping like a lot before I would get something that I liked. Like there was a time I skipped five times before I liked a job. There was a time I skipped like more than 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times before I got a like, I, before like an AI engineer, they kept bringing me a data analyst or data architect or yeah, and I think it's because of my performance on the assignments. Most of the assignments I think I performed, but I'm not quite sure about that because I also performed well in a bit in some of AI, the AI project. So that was a bit confusing for me. You mean assignments from 10 academy assignments? Yeah, 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 10 academy assignments because uh, Abdul Hamid said that those were the ones they were using to be able to identify your score, okay. to figure out your match score. Okay, all right, got it. Thanks for sharing, Sheila. And uh, with the company study, which companies did you go for and why are you planning to apply there or you were just interested? Um, as I mentioned, the two companies I did the company study for were NetGuardians and Turing. And for NetGuardians is because I had, like they have an, they had, there's a job application that was open that I had applied to. For, yeah, for quality assurance um, specialist and I had applied to. So I did the company study for it so that I could get more information on the company itself. Then for Turing, the reason why I chose it was because it's one of the companies that an academy has placed, like according to the platform. And it's I, I kind of liked what it's about because it was, it's very interesting. I found it very interesting. And they have a lot of job applications that are open. So I just wanted to see how that was. And uh, yeah, then the next company I wanted to check out for the third company study is Meta, because I just find it interesting. And when I went to LinkedIn, I found that they also hire generative AI engineers, so I want to know what it's basically about. Like, I want to know how the metaverse built job opportunities for people. So, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah, let's go next. Who wants to go next? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Hello. Okay, Shamil, and then uh, let's hear from Mr. Mahbuba uh, Nyamusi. Salamowitz next. Okay, good morning, everyone. So, yesterday, yesterday I had a lot of time spent on the Leap platform. 
so yeah so i've seen some uh, issues so i think i think i took a note i'll, I'll be sending them to the tenix team so yeah so i applied to some jobs but initially it was really difficult to have uh, a matching score of more than 80 percent so i actually didn't have that much uh, it was one one position i had um, exactly at 80 percent so and i was skeptical at first about the job so it was from nvidia so i it, i asked barakat for guidance to actually make sense of this so he actually recommended me to apply and i actually applied so yeah and i applied for like five around five jobs uh, i found on linkedin but the problem was uh, i had i skipped most of the around uh, 34 yeah 34 i actually had 48 jobs to see uh, to look at so i skipped around 34 of them uh, i super like two and the rest was just like it. so yeah that 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 was my uh, experience on only so most of the problem is i the, the links didn't work so i found out another way to just uh, search for the role in the company so i would i would i will find some of the jobs online no most of the jobs i i i found them so the problem is, is like mostly almost half of them ha were out outdated so either they are closed they, they might be two weeks long i i think the 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 largest the, the longest was two weeks uh, around two weeks yeah so yes so it, the, the 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 jobs were uh, uh, no longer accepting applications so yeah even if i like them there is a possibility the link might not work i wouldn't find the job so i applied like five yeah five of them i think i didn't count them but yeah so that's mostly what i had experience on yesterday also i was working okay no, you can you can finish and uh, musa will take over okay yeah so i i worked on the company challenge so i actually didn't finish due to power outage it just came back today so yeah on the challenge yeah also i didn't have much time on that too so i uh, we we actually submitted our challenge from this bus in two days ago on on, on tuesday so i i i also reached out to uh, jackets to uh, to use the api to define some things so i want i found out some things to learn on rug so i wanted to try to try that out so I asked for API, so he actually gave me a green light to do that. So I, I experimented on that yesterday. So yeah, that's basically what I had for yesterday. Okay, All right. thanks for sharing, Shamil. Um, so do you want to say something first? Yeah, hi everyone. So regarding the jobs being on starting from today you'll be receiving jobs that are not recent so you'll be having uh, application links that are not closed and also the match score you have more uh, necessary match score to be attained to 60 percent from 80 percent so that you can uh, generate assets so for your applications so it's now match score of having a match score of 60 percent and above that allow you to generate assets so if you super like a job and uh, the match score is better than 60 percent then you'd be able to have uh, your cvs and benefits generated 
and uh, Abdurrahman. So for you, you need to uh, actually super like a job and the job has to match at least 60% for the CV to be generated. So super liking only would not lead to generation. So please check your match score as well. And another question uh, regarding 10x switching browsers or maybe if you can try incognito mode, so it load in that. And if it's still not working, please do send us a message on Slack. And yeah, uh, regarding the CV and the cover letters, we are we know the issue that you are you guys are having, and we are working to fix those as well. And hopefully, this were the patients. Any other patients you have, you can raise them, please. Thank you. Okay, sure. Thanks for the clarification. Yes, Abraham. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Uh, how could we add skills? I think I have written some questions on the chat. So, so could you could you please look at it and uh, give us the response, Abraham? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Abraham. I've seen your message on Slack. It's uh, because I wasn't entirely sure how to uh, how you can add those things. I'll talk with the tech team and then get back to you. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, how about you, Johannes? Okay. I have more questions regarding LIP. Uh, one is in our uh, skill section. Uh, there is already an information there. Is, is that uh, a default or those information based on our uh, skills. And the other question I had was, I don't know if I can explain it better without a stream, but I will try. For each job, uh, we can see uh, the SFI level for each job competency. And uh, when I had a match score of, for example, 50 or 40 or 30, those SFI level for each job competency is four, uh, four, almost all of them is four, maybe three. But if the match score is uh, maybe 60 or 70, uh, those SA, uh, those level will be maybe three, two. Is it not a contradiction or am I missing something? And uh, the other thing is if I go through uh, more jobs, uh, view details, the view details buttons uh, will stop working. Yeah, regarding the view details button, the application link not being available, we are working to fix that. So you'll be able to see jobs that actually do have application links. And for the sphere levels, it, there is no contradiction there. So the higher you go, so if you, for example, if, if a job has a sphere level of four, it means it requires a greater degree of expertise in those competencies. If it's three, then it it uh, relatively has a lower, it requires a relatively lower degree of competency. So for example, if you are matching jobs with sphere level three and you have a higher match score, it's good. And if you are matching with uh, sphere levels, if you have a job that requires a higher sphere level and your match score is lesser, then that's expected because that job requires sphere level that which is higher so one represents a sphere level of one represents a low degree of competency and a sphere level of four represents a higher degree of expertise in that competency is it clear Johannes? okay uh, those level are the requirement for the job competency the one i'm seeing yes. in the job okay yeah okay. i'm interested that Okay, uh, Derek Studio, so I have a question. Mm, if you're speaking, we can't hear you, Derek. I think he has technical issues. Let's see if he comes back. 
In the meantime, uh, can we hear from you, Nyamusi? Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Hi. Uh, so for me, yesterday, I was able to go to sleep, so at first I had some technical issues. It was taking time to load, but it got better. And uh, I was able to do the submission. I think I did earlier, so I was able to do a yesterday submission. And for the company that I worked on is NetGuardians, um, because I was recommended it, very Margaret and Safaricon, uh, because I'm um, interested in it. Yeah, so that's my update. Okay, amazing. And how is your leap experience so far? Mm, uh, so far, it's good. I can say it's good. At least they, for me, the, the jobs that have been recommended are the ones that I'm interested in for most of it. So it's good. So that, that means how many applications have you submitted so far? Mm, I've not yet made applications. I've just like, gone through and identified where I'm one proper and one to do the application today. Thank you. All right, I'm looking forward to your reviews tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Uh, Derwich, you can go ahead. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, yesterday I submitted a uh, company study for both. Uh, just for two companies and uh yeah for for the first one is uh submitted for company study for breaks perplexity ai so and uh yeah i'm interested on in that so i just uh, look i looked at the jobs uh, that they offer and uh so and also yeah i just i get some analogies and also other one is I submitted for other company called Microsoft. So, and uh, yeah, and and the application, my question is uh, on the lead platform. Mostly I got the job uh, as the role of data engineering or data scientists, but uh, yeah, I'm not interested on in that. So just I'm looking for generative AI. And even I type uh, some key or this so to influence uh, the platform that uh, that maybe recommend this relate to what I want, but it is not. Uh, I think it is not not working or not recommend what I need. So maybe if it is uh, if if there is a way that we can do so, it is is better. And uh, the other thing is is most of them maybe it is already uh, just mentioned the job uh, is not available so it is out of date and uh, there is also there is no link link is the link is not uh, work working on my side so that's my question yeah Okay, okay. okay, so regarding the links not working, we know we are aware of the issue and we'll be updating you with jobs that do have links and that are not old. So those will be fixed soon. Um, do you have any other question? Yeah, other question is uh, mostly the platform just recommended to me. Uh, uh, suggesting me for uh, data engineering or data scientists, but mostly I'm not interested in that. So maybe if there is a way, so like, for example, so I type some keyword, this, this generative AI or prompt engineering. So based on that, if uh, give some job available uh, for me, is there any way we can do that? Yeah, so there is an exclude and include um, filters that you have on your 
on the job, if you have seen on the right side, uh, there is an exclude and include. So you can maybe add your filters there if you want your generative AI jobs, you'll add generative AI and then update your filter by, by doing that. And through time, the system would also learn so that it will recommend you jobs. You will be seeing more jobs that you that fits your uh, maybe the, the, the kind of jobs you like, the kind of jobs you skip. So it will be taken into consideration, and you'll be seeing more jobs that are tailored to. You. So so currently, you can try using the exclude and the include feature. And if that doesn't work as well, just know that you're working to make sure that those will be fixed and those you'd have such a feature so that you'll be seeing jobs as you like and hopefully it's personalized to you. All right. All right. Thanks, Abdul Ahmed. Uh, Hirari, did you want to say something? <laughs> just a shot. Come again, Hillary. Oh, okay, my mind is still just shut. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, okay. Um, so yes, yesterday I submitted my two, two company studies. Uh, I was working on Anthropic and uh, and the other one was here. Uh, these are uh, these are like companies that produce mo uh, language models. Uh, so the the Anthropic produces cloud and I've seen it's good in coding tasks. And I wanted to start to look more about the product, the company producing that. And uh, I looked at Lip and I I was finding. I was finding some challenges, but I communicated and uh, one of one I got only one matching job, which uh, I got the CV generated that was with uh, that had the wrong details about me. So I communicated that to him and I sent him the materials. So uh, Mostly, I was also so not getting matches like matching job jobs matching. Um, the rate was mostly falling between sixteen, even for the one that um I feel like I'm competent for them. So, yeah, mostly fifty nine, fifty nine uh, for like those the about data analysis and data engineering. And um, I also had a add something to attend to yesterday about uh, family issue in matters but uh, so i ended up submitting my one of my one of my challenges late by some minutes uh, but um yeah but that that was my case i was also, i was also planning to continue working on some challenges about genai and i contacted figures about ai key. The, the API, the API key. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for sharing, Hilary. And with Leap, I saw that for some of the questions you had, you already posted them on Slack. Aside from them, are you facing any other issue? One, one, one thing is that it's, it's, it's hard to uh, to progress with uh, uh, the the jobs that I was finding, I was getting even when I was getting the like when I go to the site and look at the jobs, the, you know there are these different things that the questions they ask and you know the cover letter. So it was time consuming having to generate uh, you know all those manually uh, the cover letters answering those different questions they asking. So just kind of time consuming for one job. Okay. Uh, that is noted. We'll look into it as well. Okay, Abraham, you can talk over. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, about yesterday, uh, I was going through LEAP. Uh, and there were good jobs, uh, so bad jobs. Uh, I couldn't touch what Git if I am much that's 80% or later, so I was not able to get the generated CVs and uh, yeah, cover materials, but I was going through them. And uh, most of the jobs I have encountered, like half everyone which needs uh, that, but like, I have been passed, so I couldn't apply to any of the jobs. And about the company profile studies, like I've submitted uh, both of the company study profiles, company study uh, on time. I think it was about uh, JSI, the one that the company that I have applied for and uh, was planned here. It's uh, it's one of uh, it's one of the biggest companies out there. And uh, yeah, overall uh, feeling good and uh, I'm looking forward to applying more jobs. Okay, that's great. That's great. All right, so, uh, thanks everyone for sharing. Um, yeah, majority of the questions have been noted and also I agree that majority of them are being worked on. And I hope you check this last message that the newer jobs will be available very soon and that the math score is going to be reduced to 60% so that you can be able to generate the CV and calculate the for the jobs that you match on the 60% at least. So yeah. Um all right. I guess so. There are no many other announcements for now. Uh, aside from uh, we have the next session coming very soon, and we already occupied time for the job gossip session, but it's going to be coming in the afternoon. It's going to be interesting, and you will be having it with them, Tina. So hope to see you all there. And uh, of course, keep interacting with Leap as soon as it opens very shortly and keep giving us uh, your feedback on Slack, like any anything that challenges you or any question, anything, just post it on Slack so that we can look into it together. Um, then before we leave, Johannes have a question in the chat box. Abdullah, Ahmed, would you like to take it? Okay, so there are two sphere levels. So a job sphere level is a sphere level that's assigned to a job, which is a requirement that the job has and we have assigned this with the unailing and would assign a sphere level to the job so for example if there is a job that requires a high expertise in maybe python programming then that competency will have a sphere level of four and then there is a user sphere level which is your sphere level that has been computed by your 12 weeks training and also your work experience and others so those two are used to calculate your match score Johannes, is it clear? Yes. So, for example, uh, uh, in one of the job, it seems that the job the C C level is four, and my the user is my my user level is four, but when I see the match score, it's uh, fifty. Or the UGC similarity score is uh, zero point five. Can you send me what, what scale level are you talking about? Is it for a certain competency? Yes, yes. No, exactly. when I click when I clicked on the match uh, score, there is more yeah. detail I will get. Yeah. And inside there, for example, for program it says for programming language, uh, yeah. both levels are four, but the UGC similarity score is 0 0.5. And the match score is 50. Right, so I currently I'll get back to you with the answer process. All right. Uh, just in case, I want you to send me a screenshot of the results, please. Okay, I'll do that. All right. All right. Thanks everyone, uh, have a great rest of the day.